with HD stuff nowadays. You can see every cracked lip. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Bree. Um, I am very excited to introduce to you this new challenge that a group of us are doing. Um, Allie Brown actually put it together. Uh, she is calling it the Honey's Slim Pickin'. <laughs> It doesn't sound as cute as when she says it because I don't have that southern twang, but that is the title of the challenge, and it is very exciting. I'm always up for a good challenge, um, but there is a group of us that actually have um, accepted to do this challenge with her, and then we also are extending the invite to all of you. We would love to see your pages, so we are using the hashtag Honey Slim Pickin'. If you have an Instagram account, go ahead and use that hashtag if you do try this challenge. So, um, first off, there will be a list in the description box of all the people that are included that Ali had kind of invited to um, present this big old challenge. Go check out their links in my description box. Subscribe to them. I am now subscribed to them. Ali put together a big group of us that some of the people I didn't even realize had a YouTube channel. So it was really fun to get to know some new ladies and check out their channels. Um, we, the group of us, are going to be posting our videos within the next couple weeks or so. So hopefully um, you'll get to see a bunch of these in a couple weeks span. Um, I was extremely nervous about this challenge, so let's do some explaining. All right, so Allie came up with this idea while she was traveling, and uh, she just kind of like, it was a rush trip, so she was just throwing stuff in her bag, and then they were heading out real quick, right? Well, when she actually opened her bag to find out what was in it, it was a, like just a mixed mash. Mixed mash? Is that even a word? So it was just a bunch of things that she wouldn't actually journal with together on a daily basis. And she was like, what am I going to do with this? So she ended up journaling and it ended up being fine. She actually liked the challenge. So she decided to come up with a way to challenge herself on a regular basis. And that was how she came up with Honey's Slim Pickin'. So uh, what she decided to do was ask Dave, her husband, or... In your case, you could ask anyone that uh, you see um, that you invite into your home to look at your art supplies <laughs> to pick five random things in your art supply list or your art supply area, and then you have to do a journal page on it. Okay, so what she did was she said, hey guys, why don't you ask your husband or your best friend or your kid to pick out five supplies and then you do a journal page with me? And we're like, yes, okay, let's do this. So I asked my husband and he is pretty familiar with my supplies only because I do not have a lot of them. I'm a minimalist at heart and I kind of like find something that I absolutely love and I just keep doing it over and over and over. I just keep using it because I want to get really comfortable with them and I want to get really good, right? Okay, so he of course knows what I use all the time and he chose things that I am probably have never touched in a while. If it's something that I actually have used, it's a color that I would never use. Um, so I'm going to show you my five items um, in no particular order because let me tell you, it took him 30 minutes to pick this out. Now, the other videos that I've watched already, they show their husbands picking them out and literally it's like five minutes. No, <laughs> my husband took 30 minutes or more to pick these out. And then not only did he like look at all my stuff, which is fine, because I don't really have, honestly guys, I'm sitting on the floor. I have a coffee table as my desk. I have one cabinet and that's it. Okay, so it shouldn't take him 30 minutes to decide what he wants to use, what he wants me to use for this challenge. But he, <laughs> he took it as, this better be hard for you, Brie. <laughs> you better, he told me that I better have to do this page twice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, with that mindset going in, he was going to challenge me. So he even walked around the house and like found stuff that wasn't even in my art supply list or art supply area. And I'm like, no, I'm not using that because that's not part of my art supplies. <laughs> so anyway, I got him back focused on my desk and my supplies. And this is what he chose for me. Um, he chose 
two acrylic paints, which he knows I never use. I have these mainly because I used to paint um, for my friends, like for their wall art for their kids when they first had kids. So this is why I have them. But here we go, some acrylic paint, okay? Um, this is cobalt blue and he got, and he also pulled orange. These are complementary colors. So they're not gonna play nicely together. They're going to make each other stand out, which I'm not into, because we all know that I love muted colors. <laughs> so um, when you mix these together, they will make brown. So that's what I'm gonna probably end up doing. So here we go. We have these two acrylic paints. He gave me these paint pens, and I am not a fan of these, actually. Mine, for some reason, probably because I don't use them enough, they end up like drying out. So when I do try and write with them, uh, they're a fine tip, or like a relatively fine tip. When I do end up trying to use them, they just come out in blobs. But anyway, these are Graphics Line Painters by Derwent. And this color is like pretty awesome color actually. It's a mustard seed yellow. Um, this color I would probably use on a regular basis. However, I don't like these pens. So I have that. My next thing is um, a white paint pen. Um, or it's not a white paint pen. It's a uni ball white uh, Signo pen. I do like this. This actually is in my supplies <laughs> that I use all the time. Um, so I was pretty excited for this. And the funny thing is, is I didn't really use it much. And then the last thing he gave me is a Prismacolor pencil in crimson red. Um, I used to use colored pencils all the time. So I'm very familiar with the colored pencil and how it um, is applied to the paper and blah, 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 blah. But red, blue, <laughs> orange, and mustard yellow. Like a girl that doesn't really like color has to get <laughs> used to some color, I guess. So um, these are my five supplies. I am very nervous, but I love a good challenge and it's all for fun and it's all to bring us together as a community. So again, if you guys are interested in trying out this challenge, all you need is someone that you are willing to let go through your supplies and they need to pick out five items for you and you just do a journaling page on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera down and I will show you my process. I do chat with you through the process to kinda talk to you about what's going on in my head. And yeah, I am very excited for you to see how this page unfolds. Um, I actually really liked how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, check out these other girls in the description box. Uh, like I said, they're new to me. Some of them are new to me too, and I'm very excited that I was turned on to them, so um, I hope you get turned on to them too, and I will check in my next one. Everyone have a good day. Bye! All right, so I have all my supplies laid out. I am nervous about this, by the way. And I open up my notebook and I realize there's washi tape on that side and I probably shouldn't be using that page. So I switch to a blank page that doesn't have washi tape on it and I get started. Now, when my husband picked these colors, I was kind of freaking out because one, they're complementary colors. So if you put them right next to each other, they're not gonna mix well. They make brown, as you can see. I'm mixing it right now, making brown. So I thought, okay, what kind of brown is this? So I lay it out on my page and I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's brown. Uh, I add some orange just to see how it blends and then I'll add some blue just to see how it blends. Ultimately, at this point, I'm just playing around to see what the colors do because honestly, I never use orange. It's just not something I use a lot. So I'm kind of practicing, I guess you would say here. Um, and that's all I do on this page. I Maybe I'm cheating at this point because I am doing possibly two pages, <laughs> um, but I just kind of wanted to see how the colors went with each other. They are acrylic, which I am not used to at all, so I'm also kind of checking that out. 
um, just to see how the acrylics react with water. And then I check out to see how the colored pencil goes on top of them because he did give me a red colored pencil. So I kind of figured out what I wanted to do and I start drawing my face. So I got my face pretty much drawn in. I added just a tad bit of shading and I'm drawing in the hair. I will continue to shade a little bit with this red colored pencil just because I did like how it went on top of the brown and the orange and I'm planning on, <laughs> planning on using that brown color for her skin. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shade a little bit and I am going to paint um, the girl up and use the orange and the blue um, to add some deeper tones to her face. Okay, so I must pop on here and tell you that while I am re-watching this video and me doing this, I didn't realize this before, but I didn't use a pencil. Like that wasn't part of the five that he picked. So I actually drew this face and didn't erase anything. And I didn't realize that until I was watching this. And oh my gosh, you guys, I did it. And she looks pretty proportionate and her eyes are in line. And I am just shocked that I actually did it because that is kind of one of my goals for 2017 is to be able to draw, not just faces, uh, but to be able to draw without a pencil. And this just proves to me that I can actually do it. And that should give you hope too. Like, just try something, just try it, and you might actually like it. Like, who gives you orange and blue and you can actually make a face come to life and it look pretty decent? Um, so anyway, I guess, if I learned anything from this challenge is that I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I cannot believe that I drew a face without a pencil. <laughs> and I actually really like the brown color that the orange and the blue make, <laughs> or the skin tone color. So with this paint pen, I'm just going in and adding some definition to different areas of her face. I will also use it in the background later, but to be honest, that was probably that and the white pen was probably like the least two things that I actually used. And honestly, I thought I was going to be using them more, but I think when I actually journal on top of this, because I do not record me journaling on top of it. When I do journal on top of this page, I will probably be using the white pen. I'm going to try and stick with journaling with the five items that um, 
that he chose for me and then when I do a flip through of this book you can actually see and I can chat about that. Um, I also wanted to talk about how I am using the acrylic paint uh, because I think that some people might not actually realize that it does play like watercolor a little bit so you can get that opaqueness that I have on the right side of the page but then you can also water it down and it gets like that translucent um, you know color just like watercolor. I was not too unfamiliar with it because I could use water but like I said before it is different so <laughs> I did just use that white pen a little bit for some highlights but not much and here I'm watering down that blue and I'm filling in some of the background. I'm trying to make the orange and blue blend a little bit but not so much that it makes that brown color and you'll kind of see that in the next um, clip here. So like I said before, I was very, very nervous. I felt like my husband spent like days picking this out, even though he didn't, it was like 30 minutes, but um, I was really nervous about this. But once I kind of played around with the materials and I started, I really ended up doing a lot of the same things that I normally do. You know, I have that triangle pattern that I just really love right now. and. Um, another one of my goals for 2017 is to use what I love because if I don't then when um, I go back and look at stuff then I'm not really gonna know where I was at in life at that point and what I did like because I was saving those things for some reason so um, if you like it do it over and over and over and over you know might as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was so, so excited um, to be picked to be part of this challenge. I hope that we do future challenges like this because I enjoyed it so much and um, it really made me kind of come outside my comfort zone, which was nice. And for myself only, just to realize that like I can do it, even if I don't have the proper supplies that I'm so used to and that I love so much. So. Anyway, please go check out these other ladies. They're so super sweet. Uh, there's a bunch of great ones in the description box that I've listed for you. Subscribe to them, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.